guys welcome to another exciting video on our youtube channel today and thank you so much for tuning in what can make two people who used to be very close quarrel to the point that they no longer support each other like they used to okay have you guys noticed that kubana chief priest have not been hyping his boss obi kubana the way he used to do in the past i mean it's still fresh in our memories how he hyped his ogre when his boss obi kubana buried his mother and even gave him 46 cows which trended all over the internet and almost all the blocks in nigeria carried it but then suddenly he has been quiet about anything that concerns obi kubana which has made a lot of their fans concerned and just recently obi kubana began marketing his new drink odogu bitters as usual, like the normal Kubana chief priest we all know, everyone expected him to get all excited and even try to market the drinks through his page. Because, truth must be told, Kubana chief priest knows how to promote things very well. But in this case, he has remained mute, but instead he began promoting Cola Cola Bobitas, which is also a top competitive bitter drink in the market right now. So what does this tell you guys? Please tell us in the comment section below. And before I let you in on the root problem of this whole thing, let me first introduce today's topic. Fight. Kubana chief priest chased Obi Kubana because of common drink. But before I proceed fully into the gist, quickly hit the red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel if it's your first time here or if you're yet to do so and turn on the bell notification icon to stay updated on all our interesting and fantastic videos also do well to follow us on all social media platforms on instagram facebook twitter and tiktok so um recently obi kubana who has been diversifying from one drink business to the other has introduced to the market his new product odogu bitters and i tell you it's been massive we've been seeing pictures and videos from one block to the other and he himself has been taken to his official instagram account to market this goose and also his facebook account so many people have gotten so excited because this particular man we are talking about is not just selling goose he has been using his money also to touch lives someone that just recently sent a young boy who held prisoners abroad to study People are so happy that this man is channeling his money and energy into different things which will also benefit the masses at the end of the day. We know there are so many bitter drinks in the market right now. So you need to prove to the market that yours is the best so that people can keep on patronizing and by that it needs a lot of promotions and marketing strategies. So people thought that as Cubana Chief Chris is a lover of Obi Cubana in fact, he used to be Obi Kubana's boy who worked under the Kubana group of companies for so many years before he established his own lounge, X Shrine. On a normal, everyone expected that Kubana chief priest would market these goods or even tell the world that all they have to do now is to buy Odogu bitters and drink and a taste will convince them. You know how they do it. But shockingly, he kept mute. But people didn't even notice it at that time until just some hours ago when he uploaded a video of him marketing the Cola Colabo Bitters brand and everyone was like, wow. I mean, Cola Colabo has been in Nigeria for more than a year now. And I'm wondering why, of all the times in the world, Kubana Chief Priest chose now to market Cola Colabo now that his Oga has his own bitters in the market and trying to make people know about it trying to market it, trying to promote it and trying to sell it out why would Kubana Chief Priest decide to market Cola Colabo bitters right now? does it mean that there is something fishy going on between Kubana Chief Priest and Obi Kubana? recall that before Obi Kubana's mother's burial. It was alleged that Kubana chief priest and Obi Kubana were having issues because Kubana chief priest decided it was time for him to go solo and open his own lounge. And that somehow caused a rift. But to the shock of everyone, during Obi Kubana's mother's burial, Kubana chief priest did the undo and wowed everyone. People afterwards became skeptical as to whether they are quarreling or not. But with recent happenings, people have begun suspecting that something is wrong. While introducing his new bitters, Obi Kibana uploaded some pictures and wrote, Hey fam, let it be on record that 
Within a week, we've been able to change the bitters narrative. Bitters is now luxury. Previously, people thought bitters was for guys alone, but hey, fine and very successful ladies are now in love with Odobu bitters. Big people are now proud to hold and snap and make videos with bitters. We all did it together. Yes, we did. We are yet to unleash what we have in store for Odogu Bitters. It's a very long journey. It is here to stay. Thank you so much, all of us at Odogu Bitters. He further posted other videos that shows that Odogu Bitters has been transported to different parts of the world and different countries. Well, contrary to Obi Kubana's post, Kubana Chief Priest was rather promoting a different brand of bitters drink. And just the same way Obi Kubana piled up his cartons of bitters in a corner, Kubana Chief Priest did the same in his compound while he took sips from the bottle he was holding in his hand and also holding an umbrella that reads Kola Kolabo bitters. He posted this video and wrote, As Kola Kolabo, with defined above herbs, is a premium umbrella that covers, protects, and promotes a man's manhood to become a better man. Hashtag Cola Colabo Bitters. As if that was not enough, he further uploaded a picture of Cola Colabo Bitters and then he wrote, At Cola Colabo came through. Next week, we go knock on for camera. I won't show all working with the king of all bitters. Time no day for plenty story. I perfectly understand that everybody have their businesses and nobody owes anybody anything. But I still do not understand why, of all the times, Kubana Chief Rich chose now to market Kola Kolabo, knowing that his August Bitter is still new to the market, trying to navigate and get the attention of the Nigerian people. And not even once has he tried to show love and support to his ex Oga concerning his new brand and product, the Odogu Bitters. Well, it seems as though Obi Kubana do not care at all because he has been doing quite well marketing this drink himself as he recently signed actress Omoni Oboli and taking a picture with her in front of the brand name Odogu Bitters, Obi Kubana wrote Good morning my fellow Nigerian youth, today let's talk about making small things big. Little things make big things happen, the unnoticed things sometimes are the lifeblood of the world. In architecture, we think of the marble and the stone, but who think of the nails? Meanwhile, the nails are as important as the pillars. In cooking, we think of the orishibishi meats used in making the soup, but we forget to mention the salt that made it all tasty. In baking, we think of the flour, but who remembers the yeast that makes it rise? The world turns on little things to make great things. Little things deal with the reality, without any show. But what we call little things are often much greater than what we call the great ones and therefore have much larger consequences. Last week was an eye-opener to us as we decided to crown what the world thinks is a small as luxury, Odogu bitters. In the world of bowling, we have always made champagnes, wines and spirits of all luxury drinks. But now, Odogu bitters have come to show the world that luxury is a thing of the mind. A herbal drink supposedly made for the little masses has risen to become luxury and stand a par with champagne, etc. Hence the name Odogu. All over the world, the demand for Odogu bitters is amazingly high. Celebrities and big men are now craving Odogu bitters. I say all this to say, attend to little things. Odogu bitters has come to stay. Thank you for love you've shown to Odogu over the past few days. It has been massive show of love from you all. We plead with you all to have a little patience with us as we get Odogu across the nations and across the borders. We are yet to unleash what we have in store for you guys. Relax and stay on this journey with us. Odogu is movement. Odogu is a lifestyle. Odogu is luxury. Odogu is here. You are an Odogu. So many of his friends took to the comment section to applaud his work well done. And honestly, I don't seem to see any of Kubana Chief Priest's comments here. Even his friend Vintage Deluxe, even Kemowo, E-Money, and all of his friends were there for him to cheer him up, support and promote his business. But not even a single comment from Kubana Chief Priest. So I ask again, what could be wrong? What do you guys think? Please tell us in the comment section below. Do you think something is fishy or do you think he's just minding his business gradually? Because how come he's the only one missing? Even Joe Wizaza is always there to cheer him up and support him. Ned Okonkwo. Of course, all of their clique. Well, excluding Kubana Chief Priest. Please guys, tell us what you think about this matter. 
in the comment section below thank you so much guys for watching this video and please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and do well to share this video with your friends and loved ones thank you